Hey, it's Mr. Troy Casey here in his own home, and I'm very happy today because uh, a friend of mine came over uh, to visit me, uh, Darren. He is the creator of Shakeology. And so, Darren, how are you doing today? I'm good. It's good to finally meet you, certified health nut. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's great to have you in the house. And, uh, and so, so tell uh, the viewers out there a little bit of uh, um, how you formulated this product and what was your intention um, uh, of creating Shakeology. Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, uh, in all formulations, I think for me, it's always, uh, and I don't say this to everybody, but I'm going to today. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about listening. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, what do people need? What do their bodies require? Mm -hmm. and, and listening. And that listening really comes from what herbs want to be in the body and for the most bodies and all of that stuff. So for me, it's a very deep listening first. Mm. And so the herbs kind of come and they call. And through the experience of being exposed to a lot of these herbs throughout the Amazon, the Himalayas, and every place in between, they pop in. And then I start playing with them. There's an alchemy that happens. And then ultimately you go back to, to science and you look into interactions. And so there's a blend of, you know, very uh, sometimes esoteric, just really listening. And, and, then, and then it's like, oh, you turn around and see the science and you see, and then, you know, I've got to work with, you know, 20,000 farmers around the world. Mm, so that's impressive. Yeah, it's, it's, it's people, Yeah, you know? it's, uh, you know, when I formulate, I'm also connected to those people. Mm. So, you know, family and what it's going to do for them. And, and that is definitely a part of when I put something in, I know what's happening. So that matters to me, you know. That's, I mean, that's, that's amazing. So uh, I just like to illustrate a lot of you guys out there know me as a certified health nut, but I found Darren, <clears throat> excuse me, on Facebook and we became friends and uh, uh, pretty much instantly I realized he was the real deal. He was a, he was a, he was a real human being. He wasn't just some business guy. And, uh, you know, with some of the companies out there, you see um, uh, these product formulations and they're just made in a laboratory and there's no real sense behind it. And so now talking to Darren, because he, I didn't know this story before, you know, we're all sharing it with you. And so I see the, the spiritual component. And I also see the, uh, uh, the brotherly connection to the farmers and how important that is. And so uh, that's a great intention to <clears throat> have behind formulating a product, Darren. That's, 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 that's why I resonated with him off the internet and why he's over my house right now. Yeah. So I think I think that's great. And so, uh, so how much research did you do around, say, something like Suma, and what impressed you so much about Suma that you put it into Shakeology? Well, Suma is one of those grandfather power herbs that, that you know it it grabs your attention because that's also what it does as an alchemist in your body and one of the you know great adaptogens, um, especially from the stressors and the and the, the getting pulled around by all our, 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 our imbalances of our endocrine systems and the overplastics, the estrogen levels off the charts. So SUMA is one of those, I mean, if you just, just that word, mm. and just the plant itself has got such a grounding uh, effect and, and something that needs to be in bodies to mm. help these stressors because moreover here, in, in America more than than even out in the jungle because it, it it's almost like some of these herbs they've been wanting to come a long way for a long time because right. we need it yes and no, there's intelligent design behind it of I mean you understand the esoteric side of it so yes the plant is living through us yeah. in the cities where it's needed the most and they were grown and formulated in the jungle for ecological evolution but the fact of the matter is you 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 understand the esoteric essence and so that's that's great so why don't you share with the viewers a, a couple of, like the top three plants in there that are your favorite and and kind of how you found those and maybe a little bit of esoteric knowledge behind those as well yeah I mean this is what turns me on <laughs> yeah yeah I mean the, the the list is long in terms of what's my favorite 
I mean, we'll sticking to the close to the Amazon Peru. Of course, you've got Sasha Inchi, which is ink and gold, um, which is a you know from a very basic but powerful way, one of the most well balanced to omega three, six, and nine. Uh, oils in the world, actually the best uh, vegetarian source balanced uh, oils in the world and is a great complete amino acid as well. Um, and that thing, um, you know, in 2005, Troy, the very few places in the cities of Peru knew about Sashinchi, mm -hmm. but they knew about it in, in the jungle. So, so in, in our, in one of the things about Sasha Inchi, when I want to throw it, no one had it in their mm. products. No mm. one. Mm. And it wasn't in the world mm. in this way. And I just threw it in there because I knew it was so important to bring, to resurrect this powerful plant. <laughs> and, uh, and it's absolutely happened again. So, so now people know about it and it's getting out there and now there's this cash crop that wasn't there that was being lost. And it must be helping the people in these communities that are probably being encroached upon with oil companies or even even coca traders for the cocaine trade, yeah? Well, you know, the, the, it's great that you brought that up because coca and sashinshi grow in a very, very similar climate, like in mm. Terrapoto, mm. where there's a lot of coca and, and coca is there, they're, it's a challenging situation for them. Mm -hmm. So if you give them this other opportunity, it gets them out of that very challenging uh, obviously a challenging situation with growing coca. So. Wow, that, that, that's great. So, um, so, and, um, and so what's it, what's it been like for you to go to the Amazon and experience that, that, that powerful energy down there? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's wordless. Um, there, there's a thing every time I travel and throw myself into places that you wouldn't normally be in, but it is always transformative. Mm. But the Amazon itself has just got a thump. It's almost like the heart of the world. It's, it's, a, it's got a heartbeat that is just so powerful. And you wonder why then, not necessarily why, but you see how the planet has chosen that place to bring about some of the greatest powerful plants in the world. Mm. And, uh, you know, I always say the most intimate thing we can do is, is bring a plant into our body and eat. It's such a, it's a prayer every mm. time. And mm. that, and that to me is great because there's also great science behind all of this yeah. stuff. Troy, you know, we can go esoteric. You and I can probably plan all that. We can that. get in the laboratory. I got a whole pamphlet <laughs> full of, you know, studies from pharmaceutical companies. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you but know. this is why I love plant people because plant people have this understanding and this resonance and um, people that take plants, there's just a certain intelligence and a certain coherence. And so, and obviously it's doing very well for your health because you're standing in front of me and I see a lot of people and you're extremely healthy and, uh, um, you know, you're in your forties. So that's a pretty big deal. So these plants have been a staple in your health program. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I've never understood the non-practice of what you preach, mm. right? It's not, it's not been something I've needed to do. It's just something I am. So therefore, if I haven't done it or been in it, explored it and looked at the people and been in the ground, I can't really put it in things or promote it or talk about it with the same passion that I would that it's now it's in me. It's part of me. So, so yeah, that's, that's a big part of it. That's great. So what, what are, what are some of the things coming up in your, in your life right now? Uh, what's, what's some of your next big projects? I mean, Shakeology and, and, uh, Beachbody's doing really well, right? Really good. Yeah. Yeah. We're congratulations by the way. Oh, thanks. And, and, uh, and yeah, we're, we're behind the scenes, you know, as a formulator, formulation never ends. Right. You just happen to get out of product, but, but at being a, a plant lover, and something that you're always constantly being humbled and being a student thereof. Um, I just continue to find and look and explore. Um, I'm going to Africa next week. 
Um, That's cool. I was going to ask you, are you going to any more exotic locations? Yeah. So Africa is rain catcher. I'm on the board of rain catcher, uh, rain, cool. raincatcher.org. We got 600,000 kids clean water last year. Um, Great. We're doing some of the same stuff in the Amazon. We're, 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 we're helping them, get them solar and, yeah. and the, ran, the rain catching. Yeah. Are you guys using the charcoal filters? And no, we have another filter that we use. Mm -hmm. It fits in the palm of your hand and uh, it uses kidney dialysis technology. So it's a membrane Wow. that doesn't allow that size of molecule of disease, bacteria, or virus to go through. So therefore, gravity fed, no chemicals of any kind. Love it. And Love it just it. in two and a half minutes, I can get any farmer around the world clean water. I can get a school clean water, and it happens just like that. Wow, that's huge. Supporting farmers and supporting people with water. I mean, what could be more important? This is so once again, guys, this isn't just business. This is this is a heart based centeredness connection to other brothers and sisters, and it just so happens that it creates successful business. Yeah. And so not all businesses are like that. However, I think this is part of the future of humanity. Stuff with authenticity, stuff with real deal, stuff with, you know, people like Darren, um, uh, you know, coming to the, uh, the top of the business food chain. And so, so we can make real good changes. Uh, out there and, 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 and make a difference. So you're going to Africa? Whereabouts in Africa are you going? So we'll be in Uganda. Uh, I'm working with a bunch of schools there. Um, also working with Africans, helping Africans, so making sure that they understand how all this works and then they can grow it to themselves. And, and then uh, I'm heading off to Senegal and doing some, uh, working with some farmers there with Moringa. Um, cool. So we've been working with this and Dr. Fugli, who has passed away, but was one of the leading researchers. We're working with some people with that. So digging into to the properties and the growing. Uh, what do you like about Moringa? Oh, Moringa is one of the great plants. I mean, it's it's one of the best uh, balanced plants in the world from the, the amino acid profile to high vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E. You know, all of these fast growing too, right? Fast growing, easy to grow, another cash crop that will show up almost anywhere. So a farmer can grow it. Um, processing is tricky. It's got 38 active antioxidants. So therefore, as it protects itself, as soon as you cut it, it will protect itself and oxidize. oxidize right? So you need to, the processing is key. And we've talked about that earlier and how important it is to take care of the plant. Um, before it ends up in a bag or a, a bottle or things like that and and you can lose the vitality so much if you don't care for it um, and how does that that's why it's important you guys buy good stuff from people like Darren and people who are creating and there's only I think you said earlier there's only about one percent of companies out in the world that are really producing high quality stuff mm -hmm. absolutely because once you start peeling the layers back you have to be willing to do that as a company, I think, and, and to really understand no. And uh, not a lot of companies are willing to do that. They'll just kind of take you know, anything and, and then promote Shortcuts. It. Yeah, shortcuts. So, yeah. so I want to know the truth and I want to know what I'm ingesting. So <laughs> that's what I do. And so I'm glad I get supported in it. That's, that's great. And so, so you live in California as well and, and obviously it looks like you enjoy your life. What are some of the things that you like to go out and do? Yeah, I mean, I, I love life, <laughs> that's for sure. And uh, I live <laughs> Which is in... a novel concept. <laughs> you know, I live in Malibu. I love surfing. I love getting out, uh, you know, hiking and biking. And, you know, the, I think at the end of the day, I love being healthy. So my body's out of the way mm. for life to happen and express itself through me. So I don't want to have to worry about aches and pains and and age and all of that mm. stuff. I want to just be like, cool, let's do that. Cool, let's do that. Let's play and let's play together. And yeah, I, I like to charge it a little bit. I love to work out. I love to sweat. I love to climb and, and throw some iron around and jump into pools and hold my breath and all that stuff. So, so you know, it's all- I gotta go work out with this guy, man. <laughs> and he, he's invited, so he's, he's gonna have to show up. That's great. Yeah, I saw in the Rob Ross uh, video that you guys work out with Rick Rubin. Yeah. He's quite the, uh, the legend. Of course, most people know me. I'm a hip-hop aficionado. And so, uh, so how's Rick doing? He looks like he's getting healthy. Rick, Hanging out with you guys. Rick is a legend. 
in what he does, and he's lost, I think, 135 pounds. Wow. So here you have a guy who's been obviously in studios and been some of, with some of the greatest musicians in the world, and the guy was completely out of touch with moving um, and his body and discovered mm. that. And Laird really helped him do that. And then Laird he, Hamilton. Yep. And then, uh, and then he just came, and now he's a fixture in our morning workouts every single day. Yeah. That's great. I love hearing stories like that. And so, well, I mean, that was a great interview. And, and uh, you know, thanks for being so honest and open. And, and thank you for doing what you're doing and doing honest and open business the way you're doing and sharing the plants with the world because the plants are so important. Humanity's been disconnected from their roots. Plants are an uh, integral uh, component of humanity, whether it's clothing, housing, medicines, or foods. And so, Thank you for connecting human beings back to plants. Brother. You're welcome. Thanks, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>